Okay, let's talk about everyone's favorite topic. Of course, that is percent. And we're going to do this percent problem right here. Now, I say, uh, you know, it's everyone's favorite uh, topic, percent. Well, it better be because this symbol is everywhere in our life and it uh, really has dramatic impact in terms of how, you know, it affects our life. Now, what am I talking about? Well, if you want to um, save money, you might be looking for a sale, right? You might have something that's 30% off or you might be using a credit card that is 25% APR, or maybe you um, are going to get a mortgage rate that is at uh, 6%. Whatever the case is, percent has a huge, huge impact in our life, so we need to fully understand that. So you know, when you think back and you uh, wonder about math, you're like, when am I ever gonna use this stuff? Well, you know, percent is probably the most number one practical math skill uh, there is, and you're going to have to be able to handle problems like this. So let me go ahead and tell you what we're going to be doing here in this particular video. Uh, so we're going to start with 20. We're starting off with 20 with this little rectangle. It could be 20 high or 20, whatever. You just think of this as representing 20. But we're going to increase from 20 to 70. Okay. So we start off with 20. We increase to 70. What is the percent of increase okay that's what I'm looking for in this particular problem and uh, the percent of increase and the percent of decrease are very um, uh, kind of common areas that students confuse all right so let's go ahead and see if you can do this if you think you can actually uh, get that answer without guessing go ahead and put the correct answer uh, in the comment section again what is the percent of increase we start from 20 we end up at 70 I'm looking for the percent of increase okay but if you're not quite sure stick around for a couple minutes and I'll show you exactly how to handle this percent of increase problem but uh, first let me quickly introduce myself my name is John I am a middle and high school math teacher I'm also the founder of Tabla class math I'm going to uh, leave a link to my math help program in the description of this uh, video but if you are frustrated with math maybe math is not your thing maybe you feel like you're not getting enough math instruction or maybe you don't connect with your teacher's teaching style whatever the case might be i've been teaching math for decades but i really take a different approach in terms of how i teach math i break things down in bite-sized pieces and i stress clear and understandable mathematics so i could definitely help you out if you're at the middle school high school or even college level you definitely want to check out my math help program because I can help you get that edge and uh, more than pass your classes, I can help you excel in mathematics. Now, if you're preparing for any kind of test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare, prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, you definitely got to check out my homeschool math program. And if you need some math notes, uh, you can use mine. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. But if you want great grades in math, you must take great math notes. Okay, start improving your notes and you'll see your grades start improving right along with them. Okay, so let's get into this problem. Again, if you want to um, uh, you know, pause the video and work on this for a second. And feel free to use a calculator. You know, uh, Don't feel like, oh, you can't use a calculator to work with percent absolutely use a calculator but a calculator is not going to save you if you're confused about this all right so let's take a look at the situation so we want to know the percent of increase we're starting with 20 and we increased to 70. what is the percent of increase okay well if we start from 20 and we went up to 70 what was the change here well it's going to be 70 minus 20 or 50. i think that's pretty obvious most of us would see that okay we were starting from 20 we added on 50, or we, uh, uh, yeah, well, we added 50 to the 20, and we landed at 70, okay? So we have kind of our basic numbers here. We have 20, we have 70, and we have 50. But now, what do we do, okay? Like, how do we, what numbers, you know, out of the 20, the 70, and the 50, how do we kind of set this up? Well, I'm going to give you two options to look at here, okay? And I want you to... Uh, uh, pick the right answer. So here is 50 divided by 20. That gives us a decimal 2.5 and uh, 2.5 as a percent is 250%. So remember when we're going from a decimal to a percent, we multiply by 100. By the way, if you are confused with basic percent, then this video may not be a good starting point for you. Uh, let me go ahead and suggest uh, my other percent uh, videos in my pre-algebra playlist in my YouTube channel. 
or you might want to just check out like my uh, pre-algebra course in my math out program. But so here is one option. So uh, did this thing increase 250%? Or maybe we could take this 50 and divide it by 70. Okay, 50 divided by 70, uh, and that's 0 0.71. And then 0 0.71, when we multiply that by 100, we're going to get 71%. All right, so which one is right and which one is wrong? We're using the right numbers. We're using 50 and 20. or uh, We're using the numbers that we have here, 20, 70, and 50. But which is the correct setup? Okay, so let's go ahead and get to it. So how many of you selected this? All right, so what do you think you got? You got a happy face or a sad face? Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to give you a little sad face here. Uh, this is incorrect, okay? But if you did uh, set this up this way, you are in good company because a lot of people, you know, uh, get confused and think this is the correct setup for the percent of increase, all right? This is the correct answer. So if you got this, this is excellent. But let's talk about what's going on here. Anytime you're doing a percent of increase or decrease, okay, we have to start with the our denominator has to be the original number, the original amount, okay, and then the numerator is the change, okay, how much it changed, okay. So we're starting with 20, this is our original amount, and it went up 50. All right, so this is how you do percent of increase or decrease. So we're starting from 20. We uh, It changed 50. Now, intuitively, you might be thinking, well, you're not used to having percent that's um, un, you know, over 100. That's where people get kind of, uh, kind of confused. Like one out of four is 25% because one divided by four, uh, four is 0.25. Multiply that by 100, we get 25%. But when we're talking about percent greater than 100, it can get kind of confusing. But the answer is 250%. So let's just look at this. 20, okay, the percent of increase went up 250% to 70, okay? So again, 20 was our, our original starting amount. The change was 50, so 50 divided by 20, uh, we got uh, 2.5 or 250%. But let's look at this a uh, little bit more visually, okay? So here's 20. Now, what? Uh, well, let's say we wanted a 100% increase from 20. What would that be? Well, we're talking about here's 50% of, of uh, 20. That would be 10, right? So 10 out of 20 is 0.5 or 50%. Uh, but 10 and 10, that's 20. So 100% increase from 20 would be 40, okay? It would be another 20. So 20 and 20 is 40. That would be a 100% increase. But you can see we're at 70 here. So really, think about it this way. So here we have 20. There's our original amount. We went up 20. That's 100%. We're going up another 20. That's 200%. And then um, from here, right, we, we went up 20, 20, and then 10. All right, this is 70 right here. This is our 50. Okay. So this is 100%. This is another 100%. And this is half of 100%, which is 50%. So 50, 100, 100, or uh, 250 percent okay so hopefully this little video was a good quick review on the percent of increase or decrease don't feel bad about um, getting this wrong again a lot of people do get this wrong the whole idea here is to uh, learn what was confusing you and you want to practice this stuff more but if this little video helped you out go ahead and consider smashing that like button that definitely helps me out and if you're uh, new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math all the way to calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my uh, math uh, content videos. I make them for you. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.